research on debunking um, and and debunking whether it's um, lies or whether it's misinformation or disinformation or conspiracy all say that it's not very effective, right? So, you know, um, it's not very effective to repeat the lie or accusation or whatever it is. Um, That doesn't help. It's not very good to um, do a fact check on it uh, or do a retraction because people forget that um, the repetition of information makes it more um, salient, you know, in people's minds. It allows them to process it more easily. Um, you know, and so they don't even think critically about it and, you know, they're too busy. And so what what has been shown to have some effect is pre-bunking. So um, having this kind of conversation where we say, like, look, these are the things that you might hear. This is what they sound like. This is what they do. And this is how they scramble your brain, really, <laughs> and make it so difficult for you to understand, like, really what's going on or to be able to figure out how to respond, um, you know, to these strategies. They're anti-democratic. Um, and so really, yeah. like you said, you can't censor, you can't pull the plug. The most democratic thing to do is to teach people how to recognize these strategies so that they can yep. decide for themselves that they reject them. 